There are seven things that you do that are making you mentally weak, that are destroying your mental strength. I want to reveal to you the habits that I did that made me become mentally strong. Whether you want to listen to this is up to you. Pity. Stop wasting time feeling sorry for yourself. The habits of the mentally strong, they don't sit around feeling sorry for themselves, wasting time like that. Instead, they take responsibility and they charge through life head on, understanding that sometimes life isn't always fair and that life can be quite hard. But sitting around feeling sorry for yourself isn't going to help. Power. Stop giving away your power, allowing you to be controlled by other people. Now, what I don't mean, like, in a literal sense, what I mean is your vocabulary. Oh, my boss made me sad today. Your boss made you? You are in control of your emotions, how you react and how you deal in certain situations. If you constantly give that power to other people, then yes, people will have a great influence on your life and how you feel. And when people make you feel bad, you will shatter into a million tiny little pieces. You are the one who has complete control over your emotions over how you react to certain situations. If you constantly give that power to someone else, then yes, it's going to make you mentally weak. Stop using vocabulary such as, ah, oh, my boss made me feel shit. Ah, oh, I can't do anything about this. Ah, oh, this certain person made me feel like this. Change. Don't be afraid of change. You see, a lot of mentally strong people understand that change is inevitable. You can't change the fact that things will change. That's how life works. As time moves on, things change. But instead of constantly trying to fight it, they just simply adapt to it. Don't be shy of change and welcome it with open arms. Control. Don't waste a lot of your effort and your time on things that you simply cannot control. A lot of the times I would get mad about traffic, like, oh, this traffic is so slow. Oh, and I'd get angry, I'd get annoyed, I'd get pissed off. And then I realized that I cannot change this fact. Everyone is trying to get somewhere. Uh, me being angry and getting annoyed about it isn't going to make traffic speed up. I should have prepared and I should have left earlier. Sometimes you realize that the only thing you can control is your attitude and how you react to things. People pleaser. Don't spend so much time to just become a yes man. I used to be a people pleaser. A yes man. Because I was terrified that if I disagreed with someone that they wouldn't like me anymore. But then I decided to aim to please everyone that I could, which is impossible. You can't please everybody in the world. Everyone has different views. Strive to be kind and fair, but to be able to have the confidence to speak up when you need to, not sacrificing your happiness just because you're scared that someone might disagree with you, that someone might not like you because you disagree with them. That, do you know how much of your happiness you are sacrificing by doing this? A lot, because I used to a lot. It sucks. Risk. A lot of people will never ever take that leap of faith, that risk, that jump, because of fear, fear of failure. And the mentally strong do this as well. They aren't going to wave around and take unpredictable, stupid risks, but they will take calculated ones. If you want to do something and you really want to invest time into it, but it's a big change in your life and it's a risk, spend your time researching about it. Make sure you have a lot of information so you can actually make a calculated risk instead of just jumping in head first and then hoping things turn out fine. The past. Stop dwelling on the past, things you cannot change. I used to do this all the time and I realized that the habits of the mentally strong, they do not dwell on the past to the point where it dictates the majority of their decisions and their life. They learn from it. They understand that the past cannot be changed, but they learn from it examples when I was in relationships things don't end too well it would affect my future relationships because I was so focused in the past dwelling on things that happened not actually taking my time to learn from it and improve future relationships and guess what because I didn't do that because I kept dwelling on the past those relationships failed surprise surprise look I'm not a therapist. I don't have a degree. I don't have like a medical degree on the psychology behind the mind. These are just things that I've read in books, things that I've learned from my experience. This is just stuff that I have done that has managed to help me. Whether you want to listen to this 
and in implement this into your own life, that's up to you. But I'm just letting you know, telling you the things that actually helped me. So if you're seeing an actual therapist and they have that sort of like actual medical degree and knowledge, it's good to listen to them as well. <laughs> Hopefully things have been good. I hope things have been right. And if this video helped you out, the one that's gonna pop on in the corner, this could help you out as well. And subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Hey, Southern Broom goes, Mwah.